Intel is a great partner of UC Santa Barbara. It is a wonderful model of a California university and a California industry working together to create an economic engine. We have expertise in materials that produce light. Silicon is the material of computer chips. And the partnership is coming together in hybrid silicon lasers and now in a new area of photo detectors based on this combined technology expertise between Intel and UC Santa Barbara. The communications world today is based on indium phosphide photo detectors. The great innovation that Intel is announcing is the development of avalanche photodiodes based on silicon. Silicon is a tremendous avalanche material, far better than any 3.5 we have today. But the problem is that silicon is transparent at communication wavelengths. So the innovation was to combine the absorption properties of germanium with the avalanche properties of silicon. And the big advantage is that silicon, because only electrons are efficient ionizers, gives you very high gain bandwidth product and very sensitive avalanche uh, multiplication. So the measurements that we have in the lab that you've seen show very high gain bandwidth products and very sensitive receptors. This is important because it allows very good performance at 10 gigabit, a very important data rate today, but more importantly, much better performance at 40 gigabit and at 100 gigabit. I'm here in our ultrafast optotronics laboratory with Wisdom Zarfori, who is doing the measurements on these devices. We have a probe station that probes the devices of different sizes and characterizes their frequency response and noise characteristics. So we can use the automated measurement equipment to plot out IV curves as we've shown here, determine the gain of the devices. And then we can use the component analyzer here to measure the frequency response. And as we adjust the voltage on the APD, we change the gain of the APD, and that causes the bandwidth to eventually roll off. And this is where WISM has seen record 340 gigahertz gain bandwidth products. As the photons get absorbed in the germanium absorption layer, and it generates an electron hole pair, the electron gets accelerated to the silicon multiplication layer where it collides with other electrons. And through this avalanche effect, it produces a high gain. And the speed or the time of this uh, avalanche process, we can measure it, for example, um, using a high speed oscilloscope. And the rise time and the fall time of this pulse response gives us a better idea about the performance of this avalanche water diet. It is no exaggeration to say the impact of this innovation is huge. We are talking about a tremendous energy saving in productivity for high performance computing.